Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about scallops. Judy Guffey from Columbia, Missouri has requested a different recipe for scallops. So Judy, hopefully you'll like this one. A little bit different, but I think you're going to enjoy it. Hope everybody had a good new year. I'm back at it again. Due to time constraints, since uh, Facebook only has like a 15 minute limit on their videos, I've already boiled the rice and I've got it steaming right now. And I can tell you what I have in the rice. That's a can of chicken broth. Of course it asks for non-fat chicken broth, so of course I got full fat. A little bit of water calls for a little butter. Of course I put a lot of butter. Calls for two cloves of garlic. I put in four because I love garlic. A little bit of red pepper and lemon zest. That's the key to this. We're talking lemon, lemon scallops and shrimp today. Lemon zest is a key ingredient. Like I said, I've already got the rice boiled. I'm just letting it steam right now. And to that rice, oh, that's looking mighty fine. Got some basmati rice. Now I'm going to leave it steam just another minute or two. Then we're going to add the uh, shrimp and scallops actually to this and add some lemon slices along with it which is really going to make it. Right, we'll go ahead and put that in there right now. It's about a, about a pound combined of uh, scallops and shrimp. And basically all we're going to do is put this in here. On top, spread it out a little bit. And then along with that, we're going to put some lemon slices to go along with the lemon zest. And add a little flavor to it. All right, now we're going to turn the heat up to medium. And we're going to let that seafood steam a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to put some green beans here. Of course, it's never good to have a lot of butter, so I'm going to use a lot of butter. Turn the right burner on here. Let the green beans go while the seafood steams a little bit. I mean, you got to have butter with vegetables, don't you? Isn't that like a law? I have to admit, I served this meal. I served this meal for my extended family on New Year's Eve, and they really loved it. I got rave reviews, and I actually just doubled this recipe, and, and uh, this recipe is supposed to be, the one I'm doing right now is for four people, so I basically just doubled it, and I ended up cooking for six people, and they had plenty of food to take home, and everybody really enjoyed it. Except for the green beans, I didn't do green beans. I, I committed a cooking sin, I think, by serving two starches in the same meal. I served the rice and I also did a uh, pasta with a Asian dipping sauce mixed in with it. Everybody loved it so nobody complained about the two starches. And I was always told you never serve two starches at the same meal. I don't know why. I love starch. I guess because it's fattening maybe? I don't know. Never bothered me. The lemon's going to really give this a good flavor. Now, now, I'm psychic. I'll have to tell you that, folks. I can hear Judy saying right now, you're going to ruin the taste of those scallops. No, no, Judy. I'm enhancing the flavor of the scallops. This is actually going to come out really, really good. I'm convinced. Got my mat fired up over there. Get all these done. I'll put a dish up on the breakfast bar and sit down and have lunch and do my Facebook. Oh, it's 
looking good. The lemon zest and these lemon slices just going to enhance the flavor. I wanted to get the big colossal uh, scallops like I had served my family, but they were out of them, so I had to get these smaller ones. You know what they're called. Petite Argentine scallops. I don't know what the difference is between Argentine and not Argentine. I guess because they came from Argentina. I don't know if you can hear the country music in the background. I love country. I'm playing it all day long. Chris, if you've watched my videos, you know that. I'll tell you what, this is getting pretty close to being done. All we're, like I said, all we're doing is steaming the seafood. It's already cooked. Wait for the green beans to heat up here. Lots of butter. Gotta have lots of butter. And like I say, I served that pasta. It really was delicious, but I didn't want to didn't want to do the same thing today and serve two starches. And... I need some more ideas, folks. I need some more recipe ideas. Gotta gotta write in either comment on this one or send me a message. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what kind of recipe and I'll take I'll do my take on it. Which will certainly be probably different than anything you've ever had. I just enjoy messing around in the kitchen. That's what I like doing. Alright. Oh yeah. I think you're gonna like this, G. I think you're going to like this. Hey, what if you don't? I will. And ultimately, that's all that matters, right? Holy kid. All right, let's see here. Let's turn the beans off. y'all, but I'm about to have a good meal. Alright, call it a meal. Probably could stand to be just done a little bit more, but in the time constraints, I'm going with what I got. I said I would rather have the jumbo scallops, but these will do. These will have good enough taste. Same with the shrimp. Salt and pepper in this stuff. I like a lot of pepper too. Alrighty. Let me know what you think, Judy. I'm thinking it's looking pretty darn good myself. I'm gonna stick this up here on my breakfast bar. It's already got my Mac on. I'm getting ready to eat me some good scallops. So now, Judy, you can tell your friends, neighbors, and relatives, laissez les bon temps rouler. Let the good times roll. So, folks, let me let me know what you want. Let me know what you want to see. I, I tried out a different camera angle today, too, and I didn't use that light that's glaring. So let me know if this works for you, if you like the other way better, or let me, let me know what's up. All right, so next time, I'm getting ready to eat me some scallops, and that's what I'm talking about. <laughs>